practice it, exercise 4.18 word count, we need to write a method called word count. So we are going to have a public and we're going to have a static. It's going to return an integer. We'll get to that in a second. It's called word count and we are taking a string as a parameter. We're just going to title it lowercase string and then we're going to be inside of here. So we need to return the number of calls of words in the string that were passed in. That's pretty easy, but what can be difficult is this is only returning for anything that's not a white space character. So if we have something like this, we are going to return three. If we have something like this, we are going to return five, one, two, three, four, and five. We don't care about the white spaces. An easy way to do this is with the string tokenizer class, and that's in the how to playlist with how to use string tokenizers. So for this, we are going to make a new instance of our string tokenizer class. We're going to just call it str. We're going to set it equal to a new string tokenizer where we are going to pass in what we want to analyze. This is going to be the string, and then we are going to pass in our delimiter, which is going to be this white space here. Now we have multiple white spaces here, but we can just have one white space here because it will take care of this one, then it'll go to this next one and analyze it, then this one until it hits the next thing. So their string token is done. We are going to need a count to count how many actual strings we have inside of here. So we're going to say count equal to zero for now. Now we're going to do a while loop. And just like a scanner, we can run this as long as our str, which is the string tokenizer, has more tokens. And then what we're going to do is we're going to have an str dot next token and that will get the next token. Um, we're not gonna do anything with this. We just need to iterate through it so we eventually get to the end and break out of our while loop. This can also be written as a for loop. If we add this, we add this, and then we could put this in the header here. And then inside of here, we're just going to have our count plus plus. We can even get rid of this right here. When we're done with this for loop, we're going to return our count and end our method. So it's very, very simple. We'll run it and we've passed all four tests. So that's the code for exercise 4.18 word count and how to use the uh, string tokenizer class.